a short video on how to configure the RPV311. So, um, so as you know that the RPV311 configuration requires the flash player to work. However, the flash player is uh, at the end of life now. So uh, this video is just a walk around to show you how to get the RPV311 uh, configurator working. So we are still gonna use the flash player, but there's just some walkarounds that you have to perform before you can actually see the, um, the, the flash player or the configurator pop up on your uh, browser, okay? So the first thing that we will do is, uh, you will see that in this uh, folder, there are several files that is uh, required beforehand. So the first one is the Firefox uh, portable file, and then um, uh, some instructional guide on the Flash Player Workaround the PDF, uh, MPSWF64, the Flash Player file, and then the plugin dot uh, VCH, and then the so editor. So for our purpose, we will need the Firefox portable, uh, the uh, MPSWF64 file, and also the plugin dot VCF. So I'm going to show you how this is done to actually see the um, RPV311 configurator. So the first is uh, you will need to install this uh, portable Firefox. I always uh, run as an administrator just so that um, you know I have the elevated privilege if I need to install anything. Okay. Um, because I have already installed this uh, Firefox portable on my PC before, so I'm uh, actually not going to install it. I'm just going to show you the steps. But uh, yeah, you get the idea. You will need to install this Firefox portable. And uh, the important thing is uh, do not run the update uh, once you install this. Okay, so you will install it and you will choose your destination folder. So uh, take note of this uh, destination folder because we're going to need it uh, later. So I'm not going to hit install because I have already installed it in my PC. But uh, yeah, but uh, keep note of this, uh, uh, the, the, uh, the destination where it is uh, installing the Firefox portal. Okay, so this is my uh, Firefox portable. So it's going to be a Firefox portable ESR folder. So this uh, directory will be the same as the way you've installed that. Okay, so the thing that you will need to do next, you will need to go into this folder, go into data, plugin, and copy this MPSWF64 and then plug in the VCH. So these two files, you need to copy these two files into uh, this folder. So as you can see that I've already copied these two files into the folder. And so you see that they are the same size. So um, I have copied that into this folder. So uh, for your um, PC, you will only have uh, this plugin uh, underscore readme text file, and not these two files. So you will need to copy that into these two files. And um, then that's basically it. So after you've uh, done all that, um, close everything and then run the Firefox portable. And uh, when you run the Firefox portable, you would uh, open the Firefox portable, enter the IP address of your um, of your um, of your RPV311, and then uh, hit uh, Run Flash Player. And hopefully that would allow you to see the configuration and the status of your RPV311. Um, hope, uh, hopefully that uh, that has been helpful for you. So uh, if you have any further questions, um, yeah, feel free to contact me on Mike dot sm dot chen c h e n at g e dot com and um, I'll be able to assist you further on uh, any RPV three eleven related questions. Okay, so um, yeah, so thanks for watching and hopefully uh, it has been uh, helpful for you. So uh, once again, my email is mike dot sm dot c h e n at g e dot com and feel free to send me an email on any question that you have. Thanks for watching and hopefully it's been helpful for you. Thanks.